fairly minor, with the exception of water. There's no eating, drinking, smoking, or vaping while on the boat. As well as I ask you, please remain seated and keep your arms and legs inside the vehicle at all times. Now today we're going to be seeing a variety of primates from around the world. And during the winter months, these guys are housed in heated barns on the property, as they are sensitive to the cold. Round, snowy, snowy, Noah, look at me, Noah. Hi, Hi. and Lola, mommy, mommy, Hi. and me. Going to your right hand side right now, you'll spot our retail leaders at the base of their wooden hut structure here, right next to us. These guys are only found on the island of Madagascar. They are very easily identified with their black and white striped tails. Now, fun fact about the ring-tailed lemurs is their legs are considerably longer than their arms, allowing them to jump great distances. In fact, they can jump up to nine and a half feet straight in the air in one single bound. There are two of them that live on this island. They don't usually get separated, but it looks like one of them is just out enjoying the day, while the other one might still be inside eating or napping. Now, like most primates, retail lemurs like to move around on the ground in groups of about 10 to 30 individuals, and they're a very female dominated species. <laughs> <laughs> now the lake we're touring on today is a natural spring-fed lake with man-made islands. Each of these islands are specially designed for the primates living on them. It is also home to four species of fish, a large and smallmouth bass, sunfish, and catfish. As well as from time to time along the shoreline, you may be able to spot snakes, frogs, muskrats, and turtles. At its deepest point in the center, our lake is about six to seven feet deep. Now, this island we're passing on our right hand side here is home to our two spider monkeys. Now, usually around this time of day, they're getting fed their lunch. And after a nice big meal, they do like to go inside and take a nap. And because it's a little bit chillier out today, they're very likely not out enjoying the sun as much as they normally would. So very likely they're to our right in that wooden hut structure there at the back of the property. Now if you guys listen carefully, you can hear that kind of hooting sound. That's actually coming from our white-handed gibbons, who we're going to go check out soon. There you go, you can see one of our spider monkeys there on the outside edge of that hut structure. That uh, slightly more brown in color one there. His name is Bieber, and he's our black handed spider monkey. And next to him is his buddy Flip, who's a robust black spider monkey. And the two of them are just out enjoying their day. And they're very well adapted to life in the trees. They have very long, slender, strong limbs and a prehensile tail that they actually use as a fifth limb. They're also lacking thumbs, which allows them to swing from branch to branch with greater speed and agility. And they like to feed on a diet of fruit and leaves that are found throughout Mexico, Panama, and Ecuador. Now, I'd love to stay around closer to them for a little bit longer, but unfortunately, the wind has other plans for me. And if it pushes me too close to shore, there's a chance that we either, you know, go up onto the land or the monkeys might decide to come aboard. So we're going to keep going on. Well, like I was saying, you can hear that gentle hooting going on. That's coming from our white-handed gibbons. We will be making our way around to them, so hopefully we can spot them. But they're doing what they're doing right now. is called a territorial display. So that hooting is letting all primates in the area know this is my home and no trespassers are welcome. They don't mind so much about geese or us staff members going up on the island. It's just mainly to other competitive primates.
You know, unfortunately, the survival of many of these primates is threatened by widespread habitat destruction, hunting, and rapid acceleration of human encroachment on the remaining habitats. Sadly, if this trend continues, it may only be through responsible and cooperative captive breeding efforts that some of these species will ultimately survive. Tago eh. Labing kapi. Maririnig mo siya. May umayin ay pero nakatago. If we look to our left hand side here, just outside this wooden hut structure on this oh, island on our left are more of our lemurs. These are our black and white ruffed lemurs. And just like the ringtail lemur, they're only found on the uh, island of Madagascar. These guys get their name for the long hair that comes out of their ears and forms a ruff around their faces. They like to feed on their diet of fruit leaves, nectars, and seeds by hanging upside down by their feet. Now, just like the gibbons, these guys are quite territorial and do not like anyone else coming on their land, especially the Canadian geese. But unlike the, ter uh, the gibbons, they're a little bit more rude about it and they kind of have a more ferocious territorial display call and they will immediately chase off whoever's there. Whereas the gibbons are a little bit more polite, giving warning signs first before they go and approach anyone they don't want to have be present. Now it sounds like the gibbons are in the uh, willow tree to our left here. They do like to hang out near the top of the tree and they can be quite difficult to spot. They will just look like black masses of the tree. And so the only thing that's white on them are their hands and feet, and then a ring around their face. So you can try to spot them. They are near the very tip. You gotta look carefully, but there's one near the very top, and there's one a little bit lower, kind of in the center. Up is very likely the father of the group, Alfonso. There's a family of three that lives on this island. We have Father Alfonso, Big Mama Gina, and their baby boy Sylvester. So he will go to the very top of the tree to get some separation. And they will generally not follow. You can't spot the gibbons. If you look to your left hand side, you will get another sight of one of our other black cat spider monkeys. His name is Luna. Now he's kind of the old man of all the primates that we have here on display. So he's a little bit antisocial and likes to hide and sleep most of the day. Are you in here? Are you in here? <laughs> so Luna's still on her left hand side here and you can see that he's using his tail as a fifth limb to hold onto that rope. That's one of the major advantages the spider monkeys have with their mobility in the trees. Now, spider monkeys get their name for their small heads and long, lanky limbs. They just look like giant fuzzy spiders if you will look up and see them swinging through the branches. Now, as you approach the docking area, ask again that you please remain seated until we come to a full and complete stop. I'll secure us to the dock and open the gate to your right-hand side where you can then exit. Should you have any questions about the tour or the safari in general, I'd be happy to try to answer them for you. Otherwise, thank you for joining us today and hope you have a wild rest of the day. So that call you can hear now, those are the black and white rough lemurs that I told you are also territorial, but a little bit more ferocious about it. So that's their territorial display. A little bit less pleasant than the whooping call from the gibbons. They're very likely unhappy that a bird has landed on their island. Now the docking procedure can be a little bit bumpy, so I do recommend holding on. And please watch your step as you exit the boat. We're going to go
Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, next.